Hello, Brad Fiesta here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. Uh, starting off with a little Bowser and Peach section. Um, in the last episode, we beat Tootin Koopa in the dry, dry desert and the dry, dry ruins. Um, and our throat is getting dry, dry, dry. I probably should have gotten something to drink in between episodes. Oops. Um... Yeah, Peach is not going to smile for you, you misogynist pig. Well, this is not true. Bowser's not really like that. But it's really, he should be more aware of that by now. <laughs> Bowser certainly has the power to set everything back to normal. Eh, Toon Koopa was kind of a wimp. Koopa Brothers were more wimps, though. The Invincible Tubba Blubba is uh, our next enemy, apparently. The strongest creature. Okay, so we're fighting, apparently, Bowser's number two. Hello, your nastiness. <laughs> See, now he's all caring. Um, whisper, whisper, whisper. This and that and this and that. The Star Spirit flew away. Oh, awesome. I think it's interesting about this third chapter coming up, how the star spirit escapes. Like, it is, it, it's interesting to me. Twink heard it, I heard it, uh, but Mario did not hear it. Okay. So now we get to control Peach again, Peach and her amazing hair. Um, look at how long it is, it goes beneath her... Uh, jealous. So our goal in this time is to find out some details about the invincible Tubba Blubba. We're going to take advantage of our uh, secret pathway here. We won't be able to use this for long. Eventually Bowser's going to find out. But, you know. It's still good. Okay. I think he left his diary out. He did not leave his diary out, so we can't do anything about that. Yeah. So this is going to be a common thing, is um, there will be these sections where we'll have to walk around and not get caught in the flashlights. I don't remember which room we need to go in. I'm going to start with this one. Okay. Um, so right here we have... Deep focus. There's a bunch of these badges in the game, um, and it basically just improves the um, effectiveness of the focus ability. Um, this chest right here is actually um, quite mysterious. Uh, this is how we pass items between um, between Peach and Mario. Uh, Peach puts them into the box here. And Mario uh, can take them out um, back in Shooting Star Summit. Uh, whether or not we'll remember to do that. Okay. Just a dining room. for A dining room for one. You feel like a castle would have like a dining room for like more than one. An entire party even. Well, this is the only room left, so we may as well... Ooh, this is fun. I always like these sections in games. Okay. Oh, this one's not super tricky. I feel like up here is where it gets tricky. Oh. Oh. You just, like, caught my pinky toe. I wish we had gotten caught after I would gotten that badge that I saw. Why would you just throw a princess? Like, that's so rude. <laughs> Although we were kind of being stupid and reckless. So, take two. Fortunately, after enough times of going through that, it just allows you to skip it. Um... 
Okay, so let's try to get that badge so we can take it and put it in the chest. Okay. This is another one of them enemies that you need the spike shield badge for because uh, they are spiky and they have shells for defense attributes. Um. Nope, 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 nope. I know what badge that is also, I'm pretty sure. Also don't touch the um the guards. When Mario's in danger, his power increases by two. That's a good badge. Hi. It's just easier to get us back to the chest if we just get caught. Though I definitely do not appreciate- They could just throw me on the couch, even. Like... Well, we've heard all this before. Okay. I also like Peach's hair color in this game. Like, it's not just, like, blonde. It's kind of like an orangish, orangish, blonde sort of thing. Okay. So now we will have two new badges waiting for us the next time that we never remember to go to the Shooting Star Summit. Alright. Now take three. We are just about at the end, also. And we're going to be incredibly reckless. Oh. Okay, where are you at? Where are you at? You don't know me. If I can't see you, then you can't see me. Oh, you think you would? they would have seen Twink. But yes. There's also that life shroom up there, but you can't get that until much later in the game. Have you heard about Master Tubba Bubba? No, tell me more. The hammer bro is weird because he has like a duck beak, or he's like some sort of bird, but also a turtle. Okay. Tubba Bubba eats ghosts, and he lives inside of Forever Forest. but at the top of Gusty Gulch in Forever Forest. A mansion and a village full of ghosts. Spooky. Ugh. Eating ghosts? That doesn't even make sense. Okay. It's, it's hard to think that somebody could be stronger than you, but that's always your fault. Is... If you get arrogant, then you're bound to be defeated. A secret about his past. <laughs> what if Tubba Bubba hears you all the way down on Earth? Or whatever planet Mario happens on? Yep, we, I caught you goofing off. Oh no, as if it hadn't happened twice already before. Um, but that ends the Princess Peach section. Uh, now we meet up with the star spirit, uh, Mamar. Nice to meet you as well. Okay. So she's going to grant us some additional star power. Uh, so we now have two bars. Um, and we can use the lullaby. Um, which has a chance to put enemies to sleep. Uh, it doesn't work on bosses, and it doesn't really very, doesn't really work at all. Um, Lullaby is one of those attacks that I will probably never use. So, oh well. Okay, so that's pretty much it for Dry Dry Desert. There's or this whole area, honestly. Um, 
We've gotten all of the secrets. Uh, just need to get down back to the main road again. That's our next goal. So there are, I believe, two more things we can do here. Um, the first of which is over here at Colorado's camp. So there's actually, we'll have to come back here at some point um, because there is a, uh, there's a letter in this tree, but we can't reach it because his campsite is in the way. But if we talk to Colorado here, we can give him the artifact, which will actually um, encourage him to leave. That gives us a star piece. And we also can do uh, the letter that we have that I forgot about until just this moment. Um, two star pieces. Beautiful. Um, which letters do we have left? One to Merlin, one to Mort T, and one to Goomba. All over the place. What a hassle. Um, okay, but at least we have our anime still. So the last thing we can do, and I don't know if we're ready for this yet. Um, probably, but I'm going to take out Goombario is uh, we went by this guy earlier. Um, we told a lie, which normally would put us, uh, would qualify us for a prison stay, but um, yeah, this guy. I mean, we have to go through here to get back to the train so we can get back to Toad Town. Um, I hope I saved. We can lie again and call ourselves Luigi and get through here, um, but instead we're going to tell our real name, which is Princess Peach. Okay, so mini boss. Uh, tell us about this mini boss. This is Buzzar. Um, max HP of 40, so this guy is actually. Uh, um, Oh, I'm sorry. So Buzzar here, she is, uh, um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Bu Buzzar is a bird. She's the strongest thing we've fought so far. But we're going to just do what we can here. Unfortunately, that damages our partner, so we're kind of out of luck there. Ooh, excellent. Merle. Oh, you beautiful, beautiful mistress. Seven damage. Beautiful. Okay. So, oh, I couldn't have done anything about that anyway. Um... For those sort of moves, you have to get the green bar up to where the running Mario is, uh, which we did not do, unfortunately. But this guy actually, this guy, she, this girl, this bird, uh, I guess is not that powerful, mostly because we have a lot of ways to counter it, counteract its, uh, her attacks. Sorry, this is a gender nightmare. I'm so, so sorry. I feel like the worst. I'm, because this is, this is the worst. It's a, a personal thing for me. 
And I feel really bad about it. I'm sorry. Okay. See, if it always ends, <laughs> ends in the top right, the top percentile, there's nothing we can do about it. I kind of figured that Bazaar would use the feather attack a little more commonly. Ow. That's it? Hmm. Well... I'll let Kumario get the final blow. Oh, for the creature with the most HP we've seen in the game so far, definitely not a lot of stress. Definitely not a lot of star points, even. Okay. B goodbye, bird. Goodbye, eggs. Um... What's our, what's our health scenario at here? Six? That's plenty. That's almost most of it. But now we are at a spot. Now we can put on some of our adventuring type of badges. Um, don't need this one anymore. And Quake Hammer we don't need. Or smash charge. So we can put on the speedy spin and how about smash charge? Oh, we can't do spike shield. Sure, why not? Just in case we accidentally jump on something. A lot of clefts around here, so it's entirely possible. There's a stone block somewhere around here, isn't there? I think it's back at the beginning. But I can't be certain. Well, I can be certain, I suppose. We can just go there and see for ourselves. Whoa! Tricky Kool-Aid. That was something one of my friends used to say all the time. Tricky, tricky Kool-Aid. I don't know where she got it from, but... So that was what she said. Over here. Ah! Another super block. Awesome. Um, this time... I suppose we will do Bombats. Because having a stronger bomb, to be able to use uh, Bombette's bomb out in the field uh, is going to be incredibly powerful. I believe that will do six damage just for free. Um, it's unrivaled. Plus she gains the power bomb, uh, which allows her to attack all on-ground enemies. Um, fortunately, does not affect ceiling-based enemies, but, you know, you do what you can. We also could have gone to see Wacka, but instead we get an egg. Perhaps Buzzar's egg. But that is pretty much it for um, the Dry Dry Outpost. We'll come back here a couple times for various fetch quests, um, which is about what we're is what we're about to get ourselves into, actually. Um, Why does Bombat have to ride in the back? Like, why doesn't she get to ride in the in the cockpit like Mario? I mean, I'd prefer to ride in the back, honestly, because the wind um, would be a very relaxing ride. <laughs> Singing in your commentary is really the best. Um... Oh, we're gonna have to go talk to Koopa Coot. Ugh. Old people. I do old people at my job sometimes. And... Which, yeah, you know, wisdom and respect your elders and whatever. But, uh... I don't 
find it easy for me to interact with people who can't really understand or can't really understand me. Like, it's hard enough for me to talk to somebody as is, but if they can't hear me, then that was a very abrupt stop. This is dangerous. Toad Town, Toad Town, Toad Town, Toad Town, Toad Town, Town of Toads, Toad Town, Toad Town, Toad Town, Toad Town, Toad Town, Bring it a Toad Town, Toad Town, I am Groot. We talked to you already, didn't we? Okay, so what should we do next? Should I end the episode? I feel like I didn't do anything in this episode. Well, I did the whole peach section, and we fought the sub boss. So we did a lot, actually, in this episode. Yeah, we'll, we'll end it. We'll do the next stuff. I think we'll, we'll try the sewer again. I think that's going to be our next um, goal. So we'll explore the sewer in the next episode. Um, I have been Brett Fiesta, and I hope your day is going exactly the way that you want it to.